and Director General of National Bar Safety Management Agency, NBMA, Dr. Agnes Yemisi Asagbara, has reiterated the agency's commitment in assuring that only safe genetically modified products are allowed into the country. The Director General, who gave the assurance at a news briefing in Abuja, assured that the agency will not rest on its ears in the regulation of genetically modified products. Our correspondent has details. Charged with the responsibility of providing regulatory framework, institutional and administrative mechanism for safety measures in the application of modern biotechnology in Nigeria, the National Biosafety Management Agency, NBMA, has continued to reassure Nigerians of its commitment in protecting citizens from harmful genetically modified organisms. The Director General slash Chief Executive Officer of NBMA, Dr. Agnes Yemisi Asagbara, said with the evolution of science, the agency has continued to modify and update its procedures. There's something else also that we want to um, do better. That is our superstore's visits to be able to make sure that what is even being brought into the supermarkets, if by one way or the other, due to porosity, we are all aware of what happens in the country, but then we are devising techniques at which to make sure that we're on top of our jobs. Speaking on telomeres, Dr. Sagbara explained that the GMO has been rigorously evaluated through risk assessments and regulatory processes. She said the maze has not been commercialized or launched as the agency is still scrutinizing the GMO. PR is successful, the BT cotton is successful, the telomeres is too, so there's no which one is more. But what probably you might now be saying is that which one is much more readily available, maybe worldwide. Corn maize is eaten almost everywhere in the world. But um, the cowpea, you know, it's limited mostly to her, so that's just its so. own. The Director General explained that the technology being used are critically evaluated by Nigerian scientists and professionals with vast experience and expertise in their fields. She assured that the assessments are meticulous, ensuring that only safe and beneficial technologies reach farmers and consumers. Joycelyn Ella Keche Ada, ADBN News.